Welcome, welcome to One Minute Crypto. I'm your host, Carlos, and today I want to talk about a different use case that's going on on the Bitcoin blockchain right now. There's a company that's issuing transactions on the blockchain that are not meant to move Bitcoin from one address to another. They're simply there to store data on the blockchain, using Bitcoin like a giant internet hard drive instead of as a payment network. Who's doing this? It's a company called Veriblock, and they're saying we're making our own blockchain, but instead of securing it ourselves, we're piggybacking off the security of Bitcoin. More on this after we thank our sponsor, America's Carter, and the most trusted U.S. online poker site. They've just renewed their contract with One Minute Crypto, so you're going to see a lot more videos on this channel thanks to them. So if you want to try online poker, check them out. That's America's Card Room. So Veriblock's security model is very unique in the space. Basically, they take an image of their blockchain and put it inside the Bitcoin blockchain and say, okay, that's irreversible because Bitcoin transactions are irreversible. This is unique because most blockchains, take Litecoin for example, they have their own mining algorithm, their own miners, their own blockchain. They operate completely independently from Bitcoin. But this one's actually just piggybacking off of Bitcoin. So this raises a very interesting question. Is this a symbiotic relationship where Veriblock transactions transactions are paying fees to miners and improving the security of Bitcoin? Or is it a parasitic relationship where Veriblock is squeezing their transactions into the Bitcoin blockchain, forcing other people out? Now, it is true that Bitcoin blocks are limited in size and Veriblock is taking a sizable proportion of them. Some sources say up to 30% of transactions are coming from Veriblock, securing their own blockchain inside Bitcoin. But whether this is a good thing or a bad thing for Bitcoin security is not clear at all to me. So I I want to hear what you think. Is this a good thing for Bitcoin because of the increased demand for Bitcoin transactions and higher income to miners? Or is it a bad thing because it's pushing out other Bitcoin transactions and increasing the fees on the network? Let us know in the comments below the video. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.